Rad Blizzard here, and today I got some news about the patch version 1.1.2. I know it came out about a week ago, and this patch is the Kragmorn patch, but I wanted to go and play it before I did anything. And I don't mean I play Kragmorn, just play the patch and see what they fixed. And, um, with this patch, of course, the Kragmorn and the Adventure Zones have come about. I mean, I am a veteran rank, so I can already go to the Kragmorn, but... Uh, they recommend about veteran rank 10, so I'm gonna wait till I'm veteran rank 10. And to add on that, the crag one update also uh, up, uh, made the level to a veteran rank 12, so they increased the cap level by two. And you know some of the things that that came along with crag one were the trials and the leader and the trial leaderboard, trial of the week, and things like that. Uh, let's see here. They also made some changes to the chest. They're actually going to be a little bit harder to find in the in the dungeons, which I don't like. But you can share these chests. So if you like, I, I wouldn't want to share my chest. I'm just going to say that. But if, let's say I find something I already have, and I got a buddy who who needs it, I can give it to them, and they can they can take it. I guess. Some of the things they have fixed are uh, some of the. The bosses in the game, the world bosses, not all of them are fixed because I'm in veteran rank. I'm in, uh, I'm actually in the, I'm veteran rank two, I'm in the veteran rank two area, but in the veteran rank one area, there's two bosses there that, or actually one boss, as far as I know, that is glitched out. I, I can't recall exactly which one it is. If you guys want me to tell you which one's glitched out, so, uh, just, 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 uh, put a message in the, in, in the comments below and I'll, I'll tell you. But there's also another one I haven't done. Maybe that one's bit a bug too, but I'm not sure. Some of the things they fixed, they also fixed, uh... Let's see, they fixed things for... For your Dragon Knight. As far as... I, I've never been a Dragon Knight, but... Burning Breath fixed an issue with the ability was was doing less damage than intended. So they fixed the, uh... Damage of the Burning Breath ability. Burning Embers. This ability now heals... You, if your enemy dies while affected by it, that's pretty cool. And a couple, there's a couple, there's a whole bunch of other ones. There's also things for uh, Nightblade, like the the Catalyst, uh, the Dark Shades, the Deathstroke, uh, Sap Essence, sa and things like that. Sap Essence morphs. They have fixed stuff like that. Like let's see, the Sap es Essence Essence Swords, the healing ability. Uh, does now correctly increase by 20% for each target hit and sap essence fixed an issue while the ability wasn't getting wasn't granting the initial weapon damage bonus you should receive when no target is hit they fixed some stuff for the sorcerer like your endless fury persistence rebate summon charge atronach Let's see with that one. I like that one. The storm match knock summons by the ability now increases in damage as the ability is ranks up. It's pretty cool. Uh, for me, I'm a Templar. They fixed the javelin a little bit. Uh, the javelin it says fix the issue where or the javelin was adding less damage than the intended additional 40%. They got binding light uh, that's fixed and pl a whole bunch of stuff for for the for the Templar. Uh, my, one of my favorites here is, um, where is it, is, uh, Rite of Passage, that one is such a good perk to have, or extra perk to have, it's real good. Oh, they fixed something for the bow, it was Scorched Earth, Volleymorth, changed the ability's visual effect, oh, <laughs> they filled, they changed the uh, uh, affected the uh, visual. Oh, uh, you got destruction f staff. They fixed this dest destruction staff a little bit, a little bit of dual wheeling, one-handed, restoration staffs, everything. They fixed everything in this thing, basically. And some of the things that they did say, which I kind of don't think they did, I think, because recently they just had a uh, a maintenance for this game, and they said in the patch that they uh, made it even harder to find those uh, those motive books, but I don't think it's right because I'm in the veteran zones and when I first started in the veteran zones uh, like a daedric motive was like 100 to 70k and last night I actually saw daedric motive selling for 40k 
Uh, same thing with the primal motive. I've gotten like five of those. But I've also done some farming myself. But I got two within an hour. And I wasn't far. Well, first time I was farming. The other one I really wasn't. I was just uh, the first time I was farming. Which I can show you the place if you guys want. As far as I know. Uh, I got it within 20 try 21 tries. And the last time I did it before the, the patch. It took me 44 tries. So that's pretty good. And in that 21 tries I also uh, recovered a map. So that's pretty cool. And then uh, within an hour later I was I went to do I went to do some character switching or character altering. And uh, I went to the bank and I was switching a few times and I said, "You know what? I might as well look at all the chests and everything like that cuz I do respawn, you know. And there's a there's a good chance I can get a motive." And I was sitting there and I was just uh, I have like a, a a dump character where I just give her like extra give him extra stuff so that I can free up my bank. And then I went back to my main character, which is called Clary. She's my Templar. Uh, and I went to a wardrobe or whatever. And the first thing I saw was Primal. And then I, I, I actually um, was going to sell it, but someone traded me Imperial Motive because I needed the Imperial Motive. So now I have all the motives, which is really hard. And since my Clary character is Templar right now, it's going to be a little hard. But once I get her to veteran rank 12, I'm going to end using her and I'm going to begin using her as a as a person who creates armor for me. That's what I'm going to do. Let's see. Clothing. Uh, if you're a clother, they fix multiple leather type drops from the same uh, monster and veteran content. Who cares about that? It's awesome. It's now possible to craft 44 leather ch chest pieces. That's cool. I guess there wasn't. I, I never used leather, but that's also for your uh, medium armor. <laughs> they fixed the public. Some of the public dungeons. They made it more difficult. I hate that because it's already difficult enough. Let's see. You can now accomplish all the veteran dungeons in veteran rank one, but the vec the difficulty will not change. So if you're a veteran trying to do all the dungeons right away, I mean you can try, but uh, good luck. <laughs> they fixed some maps. Um, they fixed some map uh, visuals so it makes it easier to find. Change some fishing. Um, they've got uh, many other things here. They fix things like they always do. They fix little things like in like in all all the little like places you go while you're a character. And they you know they're saying that they fixed all some of the, most of them. They didn't fix all of them, but they fixed most of the. Uh, bosses so that's pretty cool but the thing about this patch is since it's such a great big amazing patch that it actually makes me lag a little bit I'm not gonna lie so hopefully they can fix that fix that maybe take something that we don't need out or something like that because that'd be nice but that is basically it there's so much stuff um, there will be a link in the description below and I hope you enjoyed this I know it's been a week late like I said earlier but I'm doing it because I wanted to actually experience Craglorn before I even told you about it. Not the actual, the, uh, not the actual um, adventure zones, but I mean experience the actual patch in action. And it's pretty good. It's got its ups and downs. I'm telling you, motives are a lot easier to get. I'm not gonna lie. I can get a primal motive within 20 or 30 minutes now, and it's pretty nice. But uh, I'll talk about that in another video. But I have a little secret I want to teach you guys, which I've learned. But uh, that's basically it. And I will see you later. Peace! Hey guys, thank you for watching that video. I really hope you enjoyed that. If so, please click on the like button and that subscribe button. That would be really appreciated. And I will see you next time. Peace!